The half year ended 31 December 2012 was quite a difficult um, half year for the group, um, notwithstanding the fact that our cash generated from operations was up about 110% compared to the previous year. Earnings were substantially down um, by 60%, but also at a cash operating level, the group results uh, showed a decline of some 45%. Um, I would like to unpack that a little bit so that our um, shareholders and readers can understand how these numbers uh, compare. In the half year ended 31 December 2011, uh, we did not account for the acquisition of Blayfour. So in this half year, we only acquired Blayfour with, with effect from the 1st of June. And as was very clear from the numbers, our Blayfour operations did not perform for the seven months um, under our ownership. This has had a real impact on the operating results uh, for the period. Having said that, though, in the 31 December 2011 numbers, there were also quite a bit of accounting antics as far as the reverse takeover of the Simmer and Jack assets were concerned, which distorts the numbers somewhat. In terms of our actual operating profit numbers, these are down by around 68%. A big portion of that relates to catch-up depreciation of around 51 million, which was passed during this half year. This is a once-off entry and will not impact on the depreciation number go going forward. In addition, depreciation was also higher as a result of the Blayfor assets, which was accounted for for a full six-month period. A number of once-off adjustments um, relating to the Deutsche Bank loan, um, which is nearing its end. Um, that loan will be fully amortized by the end of April. Um, and also as a result of the increase in the gold price, some relatively large foreign exchange losses were accounted for, which impacted on the earnings number. So all in all, earnings down by well over 100% uh, during the period. Um, having said that, we are still confident that uh, our March quarter will look uh, somewhat better um, from an operating profit perspective, although production numbers will be lower. We will achieve this largely as a result of further decreases in our absolute cost base, although our operating um, cost per cash unit will be higher due to our expected lower production during the March quarter. As far as some good news is concerned, um, we successfully concluded the Section 189 process at our Blafer operations, which will see further reductions in absolute cost. Having been a difficult quarter, we were also quite um, ha happy with the, the performance of our operations from a cash perspective. Um, we still generated 183 million of uh, operating cash for the half year compared to um, the cash generated in the December 2011 a quarter, which uh, was only, um, uh, what was it, 84 million, uh, 87 million um, for that six months. Um, although we have seen uh, some fatalities uh, at our operations, our overall safety statistics um, improved uh, dramatically since we have taken over these assets, and we expect that tend, trend to continue while we can place even more focus and emphasis on a cultural change at all of our operations as far as safety and, um, and other related sort of operating issues are concerned. Production um, for our March quarter is expected to be lower than what we achieved during our December quarter. Production has been negatively impacted by the two fatalities, one at Tau Lekwa and one at our Blaf Biffles operations. Um, we do, however, expect that our operations will um, normalize during the month of March, but because of the negative impact of the slow startup post the Christmas, as well as the two um, fatalities in terms of safety-related stoppages, production for the quarter will most likely be materially lower than that achieved during the December quarter. We do, however, see some benefit, um, further benefit from our um, efforts to reduce our absolute costs and do not expect our operations to be in a loss-making position for the March quarter. Our outlook for the June quarter is certainly um, a lot more positive. We expect our June quarter operating results uh, from a production perspective to be much more in line with what we achieved during the September quarter. 
uh, that will have a material positive impact on the cash generated from the operations and um, notwithstanding the impact of electricity, higher electricity winter tariffs during the June month, we do expect our March quarter to generate substantial cash for the group.